Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I wanted to show you my current planner setup. I actually haven't filmed a planner type video in a very, very long time. And that's only because I haven't really been using a planner like I used to use. So I think in the beginning of this year, I started off in a Filofax, in a personal size Filofax. And that one I kept like a monthly and then like running list of things. And then at some point, I think maybe like in May, June, I switched to a Fobonichi Weeks. So it was a weekly planner in the Fobonichi style that I got off of AliExpress and I decided to try that out. And I really liked it. It's just I didn't have that much stuff to put into the weekly portion. So it just kind of seemed really silly to just keep it. And... Yeah, so I decided to go back to something that worked for me before that was super, super simple, and that was an A6 insert in a TN. And I kept an A6 Hobonichi, but like the monthly section of the Hobonichi, uh, I forgot what year. It might have been like 2016, 2017, around there, in my A6 TN. And that was one system that worked perfectly for me. And basically all it was was just the Hobonichi monthly calendar part. And so I decided to switch back into an A6TN and just use a monthly calendar solely for my planning. And so that is what I did. And so I kind of wanted to show you my current TN setup here. And so this is an A6 Foxy Fix in the Spice Sage Leather. This cover is actually a mystery sale item that I bought secondhand. And yeah, I don't know the stitching or the elastic. I think it's cream, it looks cream. It could be wheat, I have no idea, but it is a Spice of Sage. And what I have is a compact, so I only have four elastics, which suits me just fine. I love the compact side. I don't know how people stuff a wide. I, it's just, I can't. Um, but yeah, so this is my TN here. On the front here, I have this little kind of bracelet charm that has a butterfly on it. I believe I got that from Hobby Lobby. And then I have little my little bookmarks here that I made. I have this stone, this jade stone with this rose quartz here. And then I have this Tim Holtz charm that says she dreams of faraway places and daring adventures. And I have that here with a little bird charm there. And so yeah, so that is this. Open it up. This, this particular sage Spice leather has a lot of natural markings on it. Like it's very marked up and I think that's the nature of this leather. And I don't really mind my Rowena, my Foxy Fix Rowena has so many scratches on it. And I think it just gives like a nice rustic look to it. Plus I really love this color. It's just so pretty. And so this is set up really, really simply. Like I went for function over prettiness here. This particular TN is in the folio style. So you have these crisscross pockets here and then you have the big pocket on the top. And I'm not really fond of this style. I don't really like these crisscross pockets very much, but I understand why Foxy Fix did it this way. It's because this leather is very, it's very soft and very like flimsy. And so what I have here actually is in the folio, the top pocket here, I have my A6 writing board. So if you can see that, it's just a writing board. And I have that here just to give it a bit more structure when I have it closed. And so yeah, so this is very, very simple. In this card pocket here, I have a washi card sample to mark off my days. And I have just a few sticky notes from the from a Planner Society kit. And I have a few stickies from the Target dollar spot. And I have a bunch of stickers in this pocket that I made myself for just my calendar. Again, super, super simple. And so the planner portion of my TN setup here is this notebook. It is a A6 grid notebook from Muji. So these are the, I don't know if they still make these particular notebooks. These were the older versions, the ones that were, um, I think made out of recycled paper, the, the cheaper version. So these were like a dollar fifty or so, but they're basically the, the ones that come in like the, well, the grid ones came in like a black cover 
and it's just a grid like this on this kind of like off-white, not quite cream, but like off-white grid paper. And so that's what I have in here. I had tons of these and a lot of them were already like I had already decorated them but I didn't like how I decorated them so I had to strip the covers and so this one I had to strip it and then I covered it in this canvas this is actually a fabric canvas and then I collaged different pieces of fabric here and then I used some washi tape and put here it says hello beautiful and since I had to strip the covers I lined the inside with scrap of paper and so this these papers are from my favorite Maggie Holmes collection, which is the Bloom collection. And so that's what I lined them with. But yeah, so I took these, this notebook. I took this notebook, and what I did was I just drew out my months. And so even though I kind of, th I think I started this in maybe July, like I kind of switched over to this format in July, I decided to, I guess, back plan and just do the entire year in here. So I went all the way back to January and did all of the months. So I have all the months up until... I believe January of next year so I have December here and then I did an extra calendar for January just in case when December comes around and I don't have an idea what I want to do for like a planner I can just do January over here but that's basically what I did and so I drew out all of my months I dated them and then I used some stickers that I made to label all of the months and I am just planning really, really simply. I use the washi tape to mark off things that span a couple of days. And so I have, I have that there. And then I use these boxes to mark off like events that are happening that day. And then generally I'd use a little flaggy to just mark off like reminders. But yeah, so that's how I've been planning. I use these little dollar symbol boxes to mark off bills that need to be paid but um yeah so that's basically how I've been planning and it just works really really well for me I basically just mark down events that I need to remember and so yeah so that is my calendar here and so I have the whole year plus another extra month and then here I start off my expense tracker so this is like what I charge on my credit card. Um, I have that here and I draw these in as well. And then the rest of the pages will be expense trackers and lists. So I kind of started from the back. So I went from, I guess, right to left. The back page here is just a pen test. And then I started my list here. So this is my very sad little books read list for this year. My goal is actually 10 and I'm only three. I'm actually currently reading Eat, Pray, Love, and I'm kind of not quite halfway through, but I guess I'll finish that, but this is a very sad list. But yeah, so I start my list here, and I'm going from back to front, I guess, so that um, hopefully by the end of the year, it'll meet up with the expense tracker, like in the middle. And so I don't have that many lists currently. Again, I have my books read. I have a running wish list that I moved over from the previous planner. And then I have a list of video ideas, and that is about it. And so hopefully I will fill up these pages somehow with something. So yeah, so that is my little planner booklet here. Again, using it very simply. It's more functional over, I guess, pretty. And it's just been working for me really, really, really well. So that's what I've been using here. Um, on the back, I have one of these Planner Society clips, you know, the ones that come in the kit that you kind of make yourself. I have it here, and it's just holding a, I think it's a 0.38, Muji pen. So that is the first book in my TN. Now the second book in my TN is a journal. So initially how I had this TN set up, I had this little planner notebook. I had my Get Messy Season of Starting art journal and then I had an A6 MD notebook that I would use for my artist dates and that all fit in really nicely here. I slipped the MD notebook in the back here and it just fit really, really well. So I recently finished my Get Messy Season of Starting journal, and so I took that out, and I decided to take out the MD notebook as well because I knew I wanted to create an art journal to fit into here to use as sort of like my everyday art junk journal. And so I, with this notebook, I'm also keeping my unraveling journal, so if you've been watching my videos, you would know that I'm keeping uh, just kind of like, I think it's like, 
it's almost like an A5 notebook. It's like a junk journal style where I am documenting my unravel, what I call my unraveling and like personal growth and my one little word for the year. And it's sort of kind of like a, I'm keeping it like a junk journal. So I decorate it and then I journal in afterwards. And I've really, really been loving the process of working in that journal. And so I decided to create or do that journal, like that type of journaling, but with my everyday art journal. And so I needed something small because I wanted to work small because I'm really bad at finishing <laughs> journals and filling them up. So I decided to work small and create one to fit into here. And so that was the goal. And so I ended up creating this. So this is an Artist in Bloom journal. Um, ooh, like a couple of months ago, I purchased Nazi from Amity Bloom. I purchased her Artist in Bloom e-course, journal e-course, um, when she first came out with it. And I haven't, like I literally have not gone through it at all. And so the last two days, I actually went through the entire course and created this journal. So the journal that she creates in her course is actually a little bit bigger. It's a, I think it's a B6 size almost. And so I basically just shrunk everything down so that it'll fit into my A6TN. So I'm not going to show you this journal now. I'm going to do a separate video on a flip through of this. But that is what I have here. It is my Artist in Bloom journal and I'm going to be using it as an everyday art journal, junk journal, just everyday, everyday journal really. Um, in the same style as my unraveling journal and so I have that here and so that just it's on the last um, elastic so I have the two middle elastics free they're empty and I don't think I'm going to put anything in there because when I close this up this is really chunky as it is and I think it's completely fine and so that is how I have this TN set up I have my little Muji notebook here that acts as my planner and then I have my artist in bloom journal here that will act as my everyday journal and so in the back I don't think I have anything in the back I have some business cards I have some of my business cards and then I have a lace and whimsy business card here and then some stamps in this little pocket but that's about it I have nothing in this and I have nothing in this and yeah so this is how I have this TN set up Hopefully it'll work really well for me. I really wanted a journal in here that I can take with me on the go since this comes with me on the go and I wanted something that was pretty that I knew that I would keep working in and so that is why I have this here. And then again my little Muji calendar here. So for next year I, I'm hoping to keep this same system because the calendar thing has been working for me really well. I do have I think maybe like two other Muji notebooks like this that I'll probably just have to redecorate the cover. But uh, Muji actually has a A6 monthly planner. Like it's like an A6 and it's just monthly. And then on the back, I think it's just line pages. They actually have one that is dated for, I think it starts, I think it's an academic planner. So it starts August of this year and it goes all the way to December of next year and I'm thinking I might purchase that I have I don't know yet I would really love one that was just January to December that was like that just a monthly and then like blank pages in the back but yeah so I, I don't know yet if I'm going to pick that up from Muji or if I'm just going to stick with these and basically draw in all of my calendars we will see but I will definitely keep with this system because so far it's the one that works for me I don't have that many plans like I really I don't put any like work related plans or anything in here unless they're really really important um, it's just like every day kind of life events things with friends and stuff that I have to remember that goes in here um, but yeah so yeah so that's just my really simple functional setup in my a6 foxy fix again this is a spice sage leather with I have no idea what stitching or uh, elastic I think it's cream I think it's cream I don't know um, but yeah so this is my current planner e journal setup here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!